Hello, this is Dave Brady, and we're going to take a look at hyperlinks analog and then focus on some of the capabilities that are in EasyWave, the waveform viewing and analysis function built into hyperlinks analog. In this example, we're going to take a look at a summing amp. As you can see, we have four inputs here, and we have this configured as a non inverting summing amplifier. So let's go ahead and take a look at the output. So you can see in Easy Wave we have all of our different waveforms listed neatly. And of course, if you don't like the tree view, you can go for the list view. I happen to like the tree view myself. So we have our different inputs, so let's take a look at those. SIG1, SIG2, SIG3, SIG4. As you can see, I was real creative in my naming. And let's take a look at our output signal. So now let's zoom in a little bit. And we can see that we've got our inputs and we've got our output. By the way, if you want to, you can stack them. You can unstack them. Come on, unstack them. All right. You can also reorder them. And um, I want to take a look at the waveform calculator in this example because for the summing amplifier, this makes a good test. So let's go ahead and invoke the calculator. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this signal, first signal, and we're now going to use the keyboard and press plus because of the summing amplifier. And add the second waveform, plus. Drag and drop. Third waveform plus, and now the fourth waveform. So now what we're doing is we're calculating the ideal output. And you can see down here now we have the ideal output. So now let's check our check for an error conditions. So let's take our ideal output and let's subtract the output that we actually generated. Oh, and you can see every one of these bumps represents an error between the ideal and the real. So now let's take a little bit closer look at those. And it should become fairly obvious what's going on. So what's happening is at a certain point, the input waveforms are exceeding the rail voltage. So you can see that our output is on the uh, on the output that we realized it's clipping at right around 12 volts so let's go ahead and use the analysis capability and look at general functions let's find our maximum drag and drop. You'll notice that in easy wave everything is drag and drop. And let's apply that. Alright, so it was actually 10.46. And that's that's where we're getting some clipping coming in. So what's the magnitude of our waveform? So let's do that by taking a cursor scanning a cursor here. And now let's zoom in. And so we can see here that it's telling us that the real value, the ideal value we should have expected was 16.55. The real value we achieved was 10.4. And then our error calculation is telling us the value of the error, which in this case was 6.08. And we, you know, roughly 16 minus 10 is 6, so we're in the right neighborhood of an error. And this happens with differential amplifiers because of rail voltages. So when you get near the rail voltage, you get clipping to occur. And of course, if we wanted to, we could have another cursor. We can actually have as many cursors as we want. And maybe we want to zoom out a little bit, find our next error condition. So there, we're finding an error of almost a volt. So again, ideal was 11.3, real was 10.4, and so the error was uh, 
0.93. So this is how easy wave works. Just drag and drop. And by the way, if we wanted to, if we wanted to isolate these signals, so we could have a different plot, all we gotta do is drag them out of there. And you can see not only does the waveform come across, but so does the other calculations. And it has some nice features like, you know, automatically plop them together. So that would allow us to take another waveform. And now what I'm doing is I'm just moving all three of these over here. Minimize that one, stretch that one, and again zoom in, and we can see what's going on. So this is a very simple example with uh, EasyWave in terms of calculating, uh, using the calculator, the ideal waveforms. And just in case you missed it the first time, let's go ahead and do that calculation again. So signal one plus signal two plus signal three plus oh, where's my plus sign? Another way to do that is just to use the keyboard and the waveform generator itself. And then And we can see the idealized waveform. And again, as I showed earlier, it's real easy with drag and drop capability. Put in a real voltage. And now we can go ahead and take the ideal minus the real. Bingo. We get to see all of our errors pop up across the entire spectrum. And of course, this is handy in terms of quickly going through your circuit and finding what input conditions are going to cause you trouble. In case I didn't show you this before, zooming isn't limited to one axis is limited to any axis you want to use it. So that's kind of neat. Alright, thanks for paying attention to this simple example.